I'm actually pretty uh, excited to see that Intel is taking very aggressive yes, actions to move. Our CEO had announced the Quark processor family that takes us into a whole new domain beyond uh, what Atom and Core and Xeon processor families take us to. So what we're doing for the IoT market is taking these kinds of powerful processors right, and creating these gateways based on these so that you have the foundational hardware platform on which we can put all these software integrated stack and allow the industry to kind of innovate at a faster pace. As we introduce these different gateways, we anticipate over time the industry will be ready to go and embrace a family of gateways all the way ranging from Quark to Xeon. Right? Yeah. The other important part of a gateway is how does it enable a smooth interface, not only just with the cloud, but also with actually peer-to-peer -peer edge devices. Right? So these are functionalities that are going to be critical for the ecosystem to be able to go build their own apps and services so that it's easier for them to rely on the fact that they are creating an overall uh, interoperable ecosystem. We're pre-certifying, pre-validating them. As a result, it makes it for a faster time to market for our customers, uh, a proven solution that they can build on top of. And the technology is really you know, uh, kind of fundamental building blocks. Right. The more we can deliver out of the box so they can focus their engineering resources there, the more value we can provide. And I think, as we said before, the combination of the three businesses and being able to integrate that into a single solution is going to deliver that value. And as we look across different kinds of vertical markets, right, we're going to see lots of different usages that people have in mind. And different usages, you generally come up with different kinds of requirements. Mm -hmm. Likewise, different kinds of vertical markets have different I.O. requirements, right? The Intel right. is you know, adding in those capabilities for markets like industrial control, where you've got devices that are operating yes. in kind of domains that may have temperature requirements or safety requirements. Right, so making sure that we're meeting to these custom so-called you know, requirements of these different usages and allowing for a family of gateways. Uh, to provide these kind of foundational building blocks, right? Yeah. That's really the goal. Well, what's interesting to me is that as opposed to just a part roadmap, yeah. you're also bringing to market a set of development kits that will afford the developers to get a head start, advance into this program by uh, getting a set of solutions, right? We're taking a very different approach, right, uh, from the historical Intel approaches. You know, we believe that innovators will come out of anywhere, right? And how did we provide the right infrastructure for them to be able to go and experiment with their ideas and bring their ideas back to market, right? That's a huge step we took forward, right? And we will be continuously supporting that all the way through. So in the traditional stuff that we do, such as helping make sure that the open source community and others have appropriate support behind our product lines, that collectively, right, allows the larger ecosystem Absolutely. to innovate around the Intel product lines. That's a huge part of what we do. And then we have this other huge Intel asset, right, about the back end, the cloud, the yeah. data center, right? So when we kind of augment these, these kinds of strengths in our roadmap with the roadmap that we have in terms of what will be introduced through hardware and software in the data center side of things, right. it really makes a powerful offering to help people accelerate their IoT deployments. If you look at the assets that the Intel family can bring to bear, you know, it's at the edge, it's at the gateway, it's APIs that allow you to actually yes. uh, open up the cloud side, it's a foundation for actually building big data solutions on top of that. And this is what customers are looking for. And I think over time, as we find that the industry is kind of slowly absorbing from how did I produce a bolt-on solution mm -hmm. into an existing legacy installed base to how did I do design in sure. of new gateways, we'll also get to the point where industry gets smarter on the analytics point that right. you were mentioning, right? right? As people get smarter on analytics, we are making sure that we have all the horizontal building blocks mm -hmm. on analytics, right? Both at the edge level as well as at the data center level so that it gets easier yeah. for people to come up with their analytic solutions for their respective vertical markets. 